Hi guys, welcome to another quick overview. Uh, I've been very privileged and been sent a nice box of Hike Vision Access Control products, uh, as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview, one of my favourite products I've just played with out of the box. So I'm going to switch the camera around and you're going to take a quick look at it. So this is one of their new facial recognition terminals. As you can see, it's powered. No cables in there. So this particular model is the battery version, so it lasts about three hours on battery. So if you have a mains failure, the terminal still works. Uh, battery's under the cover there. Uh, you've got a micro SD card slot, and you've got your usual terminal. So you've got your 12 volt in, your RS-45 control line, door controls, alarm in and out, and then the Wiegand uh, protocol control line. So multiple ways you can use this. Very nice unit. So this would typically be mounted on a wall so it's at eye height so if you can look in there my phone is in the way but i'll show you that shortly so i can put it back on the desk as you can see you've got two camera modules uh, for live face detection so rather than uh just being able to draw or hold up a photograph of somebody's face if you were lucky enough to chop their finger off and use that to gain access because you can see it's got the fingerprint reader we can actually use the dual lens we can actually use the dual lens camera to check for live face. Um, so that's a vital part of it. What we've got then is the fingerprint reader. So we can enroll fingerprints in there and it's telling us it's looking for my face now. So if we look at it there, it's seeing my face, but it's saying do other authentication first. So if I now take my finger, which belongs to me, and put that on there. Please continue to authenticate. And now it's seen me, that's my reference shot, and it's verified me using the live uh, camera uh, check. Again, if I try and hold the phone so you can see it, so I'm gonna, it's put a box around me saying do other authentication first. I do my finger. Please continue to authenticate. And it's accepted it. Now if I do a different finger, Fail. Fingerprint doesn't work. You can enroll any finger on there. What I can also do from here is use a fingerprint or face to access the menu. So if I'm an administrator, I can use my fingerprint and I can access the configuration menu. And now I've got all, a whole host of features like user. So I can add my users and I can actually start adding users and I can say they have to have a face, fingerprint, passcode. And you've got the authentication mode there. Um, you've got the uh, network and it's got Wi-Fi in there as well so if you need to talk over Wi-Fi we've built Wi-Fi into it it's got the access control setup so you've got the the terminal authentication mode is card password face depending on which one we uh, selected card reader authentication mode anti passback door lock time door open time it's all touchscreen You've got the system interface, so you've got the volume, power button, uh, this becomes the power button to turn it on and off if it's on battery. Enable supplement light brightness, threshold for auto enabling supplement light, all these critical functions that you need. You've got the face picture library, the fingerprints, you've got the security level of the fingerprint uh, for the check-in upgrade. Uh, face settings so we've got security level is set to high if you set it to higher it's more point checking so it makes it extremely secure and we've got the live face detection option so if we turn that off it doesn't use the live face checking which is the dual camera here and um, so it's less secure so we always recommend that that's on for live face checking and then you've got your data so you can delete data uh, sit, restore it factory delete the captured images clear permissions all the standard features and you've got restore the default and delete capture picture. That's a very, very brief overview uh, of the actual unit itself. Um, hopefully, we'll start seeing a lot of these into the UK very soon. There's a massive, massive range of access control that I can do at a later stage. Once I've mounted it onto that nice green wall there, you'll see a lot more product on there and we can run through all the access controllers, software, and just go back out of here, out again, back to that mode there. And we've got the battery. So uh, what we can do then, and turn it off, hold and turn that off, because it's on the battery. We've enabled that as a power button, and that will turn off. So we'll run through some more products uh, once we've got it fitted, but it's a very, this product line that is coming out is fantastic, using the uh, AI on a lot of their products now. Very excited, hope you're excited too. Speak to you soon.